Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is Town Hall 9 Ground Attacks. We're taking a look at what's working in terms of hogs and anything else uh, that's common on the ground at Town Hall 9. A few different attacks to take a look at today, actually quite a few, and they all are a little bit different, all very nice attacks from this war against Marshall's Nation. Good job to, uh, to Nation going to 3-0 with the win over us this weekend. We are down to 1-2, and two, but we'll look to bounce back and get back to a winning record soon. You guys will see all the CWL results in my recap video, which will come out very soon. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's take a look at a few of these uh, Town Hall 9 ground attacks that worked well and are good things for those of you Town Hall 9s that are watching to kind of have in your arsenal to be familiar with because there's some very good techniques in each one of these attacks. Um, go ahead and fast forward to the start here. This is Richie, and he's doing a bit of a mass hog. I mean, it has 25 hogs plus. One thing I love to see, the level 7 hogs in the CC. Uh, that's a real nice touch there, and I think it's not used enough. We see bowlers so much, but the level 7 hogs can also be very effective in the CC. Uh, so this guy has his clan castle offset, so takes it out initially with the uh, the queen, uh, making sure she's out of range so he doesn't have to pop the ability for the CC, just the rage will do. And then now he'll use the ability as his queen steps up. One thing you'll notice that he does with the king here, really nice uh, combo thing, drops down the king and a few wizards behind. They'll get the cannon and just kind of start walking around the base getting some defenses. A nice uh, technique here that uh, some people use, use bowlers, but he doesn't want to waste the CC with bowlers. So using a few wizards behind your king to walk around the outside can get you some pretty good value. Granted, they can't get that expo taken out um, themselves, but he'll drop in a few hogs to get the expo and his king will kind of continue on. So actually, yeah, he'll deploy his main force of hogs at the bottom here. Uh, the king did a nice job tanking for a little while and the queen's still going up north. Everything looking good there. But coming in with more reinforcements on the side, you can see the level seven hogs pretty distinct in there with their special hammers. Um, have some like yellowish uh, hues in there and they do a great job. They're so tanky and they're so, they do so much damage because they're two levels higher than your regular level five hogs. Um, so he'll just kind of make his way through the base here, has an extra heal. The queen almost goes down, but he drops the poison and a few wizards to help her out. So good uh, a tentativeness there to know his queen was getting low. Not that it mattered anyway, because you can see how many hogs he has left up along with a heal spell to swag. Uh, so nice attack. Sometimes just use those mass hogs, they can work very well, um, especially when paired with the queen walk and some kind of uh, something for the king to do, I guess. Um, so has the heal spell left. Good job, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, number 16, just down one. We have uh, Nev, and this is the Grundinator, I believe it's called. I'm not, I think that might be the person who invented it. I like calling it, um, uh, HP, well, never mind. I'm not going to go down that road. Um, <laughs> whatever this attack is called, it's just a lot of troops that do a lot of damage and are pretty tanky, all compiled into one force moving forward. So it's fun to watch and it works very well. If you can control where they're going to go, get them into the middle of the base there and get them doing their damage. So, um, queen goes down just uh, to take out some of these buildings, get the defensive queen taken out, also help with the funnel. There's the P.E.K.K.A. up top, or actually two P.E.K.K.A.s and some wizards behind. Um, he actually does bring jump spells. Sometimes you don't bring any jumps and let them just go through the walls on their own, but this works fine too. It's nice that the air defenses aren't there initially because the healers um, won't be shot down. They'll be able to do their job for a while, and the bowlers get that uh, one air defense taken out so quickly that the healers can help uh, negate the effects of the giant bombs on the bowlers. Everything moving forward. Um, yeah, giant bombs, quite a few of them in the middle of the space, but it doesn't even matter with all those healers up. The rage is um, good placement. You can see he has a bit of a Tesla farm over on the right side, and his troops go to the left, which is fine, because this will give him some time for his troops to get healed back up before they encounter the last uh, bit of this base. Now that one air defense is going to do some work on his healers, unfortunately, but by this time, everything's pretty much at full health, has the pe both his P.E.K.K.A.s, uh, the King, a few Valks, the Queen, and quite a few Bowlers, so um, a ton of troops, plenty to take out that last island over there as soon as they get through this trash right here. 
So um, actually has a skeleton spell too and two hogs left. Sometimes it's nice to bring a few hogs uh, for this composition so you can target defenses directly as they're being tanked by the Pekkas or the King or something. He'll pop the King's ability in just a moment because he actually still has that. Um, surprisingly, the Queen back doing work, the, just crushing the space, awesome attack to Nev. This is a fun one to watch for sure, this composition. And there's the Skelly spell. That'll do it. We'll go ahead and go times two just for the sake of time here. Look at all those skellies um, <clears throat> that were just spawned in a few swag hogs. All right, let's move on to the next one, number 19. You can see the war results right here. Um, this one actually relatively close towards the end, I think. I wasn't on for the last hour, but I think it was still pretty close. Um, we've had some tough wars because it's it's not been like, you know, we're going to lose... Uh, we realized that halfway through. It's always like it's close, we could win, and then it just doesn't quite shape up at the end for us. The t 10v10 attacks are what we have to improve on for sure, but I guess that's another story. Um, let's focus on the Town Hall 9 attacks today. This one I really liked because it's, um, it's, it's a really nice technique that we see a lot where you just create a really wide funnel and you use those wizards to take out all these point defense and different defenses that the golems are tanking. Uh, you can see right there, that entire right side was taken out by the wizards. It does two things. It takes out all these point defense that would otherwise be targeting your troops as they move into the base. It takes out those flanks, I guess you could call them. And also creates the funnel for the bowlers because that second layer, this goes all the way back to my bowler funneling video. It's like 27 minutes, really in-depth video um, where I talk about how to funnel bowlers. You got to get that second layer taken out the stuff inside the walls because that too and especially that will distract your bowlers now a nice thing with the queen here he knows the cc has a lava hound so he just pulls the queen drops her here she gets all these teslas taken out in the wizard tower so a nice little trade there you often don't want to bring your queen because the lava hound will pop now unfortunately a wizard gets caught up in there and does take out the lava hound just by pure unluckiness um, so the pups do come out and they're going to be a bit of an issue but um, it was a good idea for sure, because otherwise, had it not been for a little bit of an unlucky wizard, the Lava Hound would not have been an issue, because there would have been nothing to, uh, to target it. So a few hogs left up when everything is said and done, along with a few skelly spells. I guess these are mainly going to be clean up uh, skelly spells. And a few more hogs he hasn't even deployed. Actually, quite a few troops. Has there some wizards, archers, minion. Uh, so a little bit of stuff in his troop bar still. And there goes the final... Uh, skelly spell this one's over nice attack to living pro good setup and uh, good execution there let's take a look at 22 as we continue on with these ground attacks uh, this is uh prathamesh yeah prathamesh uh this is a three golem a stoned hog attack you can call it and comes in with a few balloons for these mortars. Now a Tesla does pop right there, but that gives him some good information, and he gets the other mortar taken out. Uh, cheap trade there. I don't know if it's always a good trade, a mortar, a balloon for a mortar, but definitely when it's in a strategic place, like a funnel location, they're good to get taken out, if that'll help with your funnel for sure. Now he gets the one on the bottom, but not the one on the right. So the funnel will still be okay though. There's that kind of buffer zone, the dead zone right there which definitely helps with the funnel, especially when he's bringing bowlers. So everything good there. Once again, similar to the last attack, these wizards getting tremendous value here, uh, getting the cannons on the corners taken out, which helps with funneling and with the DPS coming at his troops. So everything moving in here has the heroes, has the bowlers, and two jumps to get deep into this base. The standard rage and heal as well. That's kind of what we see as standard. If you're doing a big kill squad like this, you typically bring two jumps, one rage and one heal. The heal could help with the bowlers if they hit a giant bomb, or just in general, you know, to help the king's barbarians that he spawns stay up. Or you can save it for your hogs if you have a significant number. Um, I think Prath has 15, so he is going to save it for his hogs, which is a choice you can make. It just depends how things are going. And actually, by the looks of this attack, he didn't need the heal for the bowlers because they were very well protected. There's still a few of them up. So a good decision to save that heal and I think he will use it at some point, yeah, right there in the bottom uh, to save those hogs from the giant bomb and the cannon and stuff. And now the final hogs coming from three different locations, uh, the two that are already in the base and the two that he deploys, or the one group that he deploys, um, converging on that last Tesla farm area there. 
few spring traps, but there's enough to get the job done. Look at those golems like walking inside of each other. Um, and yeah, actually I'm surprised both golems are still up, but I guess they must be low on health, but not quite cracked into golemites. A troll task that look at those hogs running from the skelly trap. But I like that wizard there just to help with the DPS, get the Tesla taken out quicker so he has more hogs left up for cleanup. They take out those skellies and now they're going to go and uh, help with cleanup there. Quite a few wizards, which is good because there's some uh, high HP buildings left up that he gets taken out. Uh, good job to Prathamesh getting the three star here. I believe we have uh, two more attacks. This is kind of a long video, but I wanted to make this pretty comprehensive. 27 and then the bottom 130. So this was another queen walk attack. You can see has four healers, uh, two golems, and 11 hogs. This one was, I think, a really nice attack if I remember it correctly the first time I watched it. And the hogs really aren't the star of the show here. We've seen them play a bigger role in some of the previous attacks, but in this one, it's mainly going to be the queen and the kill squad. He does a great job of just sending his troops through. We talk about uh, runways. And it's kind of a weird concept in Clash of Clans, but it works for both kill squads and balloons and hogs. Any type of kind of straight line you can send your troops in tends to be the most effective because there's nothing coming at them from the side that's going to spread them out or get them from their flanks. If it's a very north to south motion or whatever direction you're going, but just one side to the other side, it can work out very well because for golems and stuff like that, your tanks are always going to be out in front. And he's using his queen to kind of set that up by having her take out the uh, the top right side of the base there. And then on the bottom, he's just going to funnel, uh, once again, wizards on those cannons while the golems are tanking. Uh, a very popular technique it's become now. And then look at this. He's going straight through the base with two jumps, very much so north to south or in this case, uh, southeast to northwest, and has the rage for his troops. The king gets aggroed right there, so he pops the ability, takes out the queen, and check it out, Lava Hound in the CC, but not going to be an issue uh, because his queen is going around the outside of the base. Now, that's hard to do on fresh attacks, but when you know what's in the CC, it's a good idea to avoid having your queen engage that Lava Hound if you can help it. So here come the hogs. They're really playing a very small role here, just taking out some of these last defenses. Probably didn't even need them, you could argue, uh, because the queen is up and still has quite a few uh, golems and bowlers and all that in the core, but uh, gets the job done here. A um, few wizards for cleanup. Swag, poison spell, and some more swag hogs. Nice attack to Yazbek here. Fast forward to the end, a few seconds, and take a look at one more. I believe this is number 30. I want to say uh, Whiskey Raider. Yeah, Whiskey coming at this space with um, quite a few hogs here and three heals and a jump. So this one, similar to one of the previous ones we looked at, is kind of a mass hog. I consider anything over 20 hogs to be close to a mass hog, especially when he has hogs in the CC. Um, yeah, I consider it a mass hog. So taking a look at what he does here, just drops down the golems, then just a bunch of wizards and the queen to take out the CC troops and the king and everything as fast as he can before the golems take too much unnecessary damage. Now, <clears throat> the one golem is going to walk to the left there by the Teslas. It does take out one of those Teslas just by splitting in half, but the other one is still gonna be up. So not getting tremendous value with his kill squad. He gets the queen, he gets the CC troops, and he gets a few complimentary defenses, but that's about it. So the hogs still have quite a bit of base left to take out. I think his queen will take this jump, but it'll still be there in time. So she'll get the expo but not a whole lot of value, to be honest. Uh, but it doesn't matter the hogs. He has three heals. He has, I think, if you do the math, uh, 30 hogs, seven of them being, or six of them being the OP level seven hogs uh, that are available at Town Hall 11. Has the first heal go down there for the main group. It was good that he dropped the higher level hogs early. That way they're doing work for the most amount of time. If you can keep them up, uh, they can get you the most value if they're in the base for a long period of time. Being very patient on that last heal, uh, or the second heal actually, he has one more left, and uh, might not even need it, you could argue here. 
The spring traps are a bit of a nuisance because it seems like whenever you do a hog attack, it's like, oh wait, there's spring traps. You don't notice them on other attacks like air attacks, but they are really noticeable when you use the hogs. Fortunately for him, he has so many hogs left up, the spring traps don't matter. Um, he gets the job done with about 10 or 12 hogs left up to spare. So nice attack there to, uh, to Whiskey Raider here. Yeah, has about maybe eight, nine hogs. Um, most of them being those level seven hogs. So like I said, um, I guess it, you know they could hit spring traps, but you want to put them in the base the longest amount of time you can. And you know, barring any spring traps, if you heal them right, they should last the entire attack because of how durable and how powerful they are. So nice job to Whiskey. That will do it for this video. Hope you guys liked the the attacks and maybe this will help you Town Hall 9s for, for planning and just for knowing what is working at Town Hall 9. Wanted to focus on ground attacks for you guys today. Like I said, very soon we will have the CWL Week 3 recap. Tell all your friends, tell everyone you know, tell your clanmates uh, because we have some awesome attacks. The results were pretty surprising in some circumstances. I'll talk about what... Um, predictions I got right, what ones I got wrong, and maybe how we'll have some more interesting uh, events and stuff going on for future weeks to, uh, to make this an even more fun event, an ongoing league. So thank you guys for watching this video though, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.